These live caterpillars came in the mail the other day. My daughter is uh, going to start a butterfly habitat. And uh, when they arrived, they were really little, teeny tiny little things. And uh, just a couple days ago, they started climbing up to the top. And you, can, you might be able to see they're starting to hang from the, from the lid. And I found myself staring at these guys the other day as they were still caterpillars crawling around, wondering if they had any idea what was going to happen to them, that their whole life as they know it is going to end, and if they felt fear. And I wondered if I could interview a little caterpillar, what would he tell me if I said, hey, do you have any fear about what's going to happen to you? He'd probably look at me and say, why would I have fear? Because everything you know is about to end? And he'd probably say, says who? And if I said, but you have no idea what's going to happen. And he could say, neither do you. <laughs> and look at, they're totally surrendered. If ever there was a position of surrender hanging upside down while your entire body dissolves into mucus and nothingness and is completely reconstituted, and then to have to find your way out of that chrysalis all on your own. And yet, they do it all the time. It's part of nature. And they have no fear. And the thought occurred to me that we are always going through our process all the time, too. And we get scared because we have these stories about all the things we're going to lose and all the stuff we're going to suffer at. And yet, maybe we can take a cue from the caterpillar. Maybe, maybe I can have a little bit of comfort and faith in knowing that just totally surrendering to the process could result in something fantastic and beyond anything I ever could have imagined.